Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This video is actually meant to be an animation reaction and breakdown for the uh, Will of the Hersher animation, but after watching it, I was kind of disappointed in how little there was to actually discuss. The animation overall was fine, it was just there wasn't anything that sparked a discussion in my mind, so I ended up just scrapping that video. But I did hear the song playing in there, and I looked up what the song was, and I want to listen to it closer because it sounded beautiful, but I feel like I didn't get the chance to actually focus on it because I was focusing on the animation. So, with that said, Let's give Befall a shot, shall we? Let's go. Ooh. See, like, I didn't even hear this part at all. If this was, like, underneath, I, I didn't, didn't even process this. The voice I remember, of course. I love that pattern on the strings. I didn't hear half of this. <laughs> I I love that inclusion of having the uh, that electric guitar under there. It's so subtle. Big old bass drop at the. <laughs> it's just. Whew. The energy of this reminds me a lot of the music from Kill I Kill. That was cool, having that little journey. <laughs> There's so many little textures in this. Adding that extra layer in there with the drums now and of course the, the guitars underneath and everything. Really building on that. That's gotta be the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. All right, so I've talked about this quite a bit uh, because other songs, of course, have done it as well, but I love it when I hear it. This sort of marriage of these like pseudo electronic components as well as just raw instruments, these strings, the guitars in there, of course, electric guitars, the drums and everything. It's just this beautiful cacophony of sound from various influences. And it sounds so neat having these like hybrid techno orchestra things going on. And it's, I just love how it feels. In this song specifically, of course, I mentioned the guitar in there, adding this constant texture underneath everything and really keeping that ground just tight knit. 
Whereas like all the percussive elements in it as well were just dancing about. They had a lot of mechanical sounds and almost what I may call garage percussion going on. A lot of just like clanging and clunking that was filling this empty space and adding to that aura of having all these mechanics around you. Of course, I've seen the animation, so I kind of understand the context of the visuals here. And that adds to that image in the mind. If you're not watching it, you can hear it and you feel those sorts of things subconsciously so it's just really nice to see those I talk about it a lot because I love it and it's just an extra layer on top of what could have just been a really pretty song but adding these sorts of elements to tie that inspiration together to tie that purpose in I had mentioned in the very beginning that I heard this like did it did it did it did it that pattern coming from the string section I don't know why but I've always loved that pattern that it, it almost feels like a train this kind of constant steady did it did it did threes it just feels so satisfying to my mind I'm sure there's probably some like psychological reason but I'm just gonna chalk it up to my general mental illness and call it a day but I've always loved that pattern there was also something very inviting about her vocals on this song that just made everything feel so beautiful obviously the voice was very lifting and had a lot of power to it it was very majestic but then all the music underneath it being almost not in a way because I all the prior stuff I had mentioned about it being almost pseudo mechanical she just kind of sits above everything and then like with the choir going underneath her and all the mechanical aspects like I had mentioned it just feels really cool it's such a good juxtaposition and I love the way that that feels and to bring up the ending of the song of course that last refrain it brought everything to the usual climax that you expect out of big majestic songs like this they do that a lot you get that final time through and it's like pull out all the stops, play every instrument, let's get this done. And what I liked about that is that it added yet another layer on, which they often do too, but it was this big, thick, echoey snare with just a crack to it that felt really powerful like it was the instrument that held that entire last section together. You had all the other instruments, but if you didn't have that snare just psh, it, it, it wouldn't have nearly the impact as it ended up having by including it. And then, of course, ending on this beautiful one big fat piano note just to really hold that energy over your head like, we're done. I said we're done. It was very finite, but it almost left you wondering if there's more because it held so long. The sustain was like... A solid 10 seconds so it really felt like there was gonna be more and you were waiting for it and anticipating something else to happen that you also knew was never gonna come so I just really like those psychological things in music like this I think that this song has a lot of that and I didn't anticipate it being so attractive to my ear as it ended up being but I mean it's not like I'm mad about it right it is a gorgeous song it felt really nice to hear it, and that's why I wanted to go back to it after the uh, unfortunate happenstance of the animation itself not really being something worth talking about. However, I do plan to talk about the next in the chronological line of the animations. I don't remember what the name of it is, but I will be getting to it probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that, and I will see you all in the next video. <gasps> Goodbye! <laughs>